Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's all me. Anyway, I'm here with a family of, uh, well, of vegetarians, fruit, some fruitarian, and they're here eating. And uh, my thing is, the family eats together, stays together, and it all started with you. Might explain why you're here, why you brought your son here, and your daughter here. <laughs> so it's um, kind of burn off of me. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, my name is Sandy, and um, about, I don't know, more than 10 years ago, I started reading a book when I came to Arnold's about a different way of living where you could be healthy, and I was very tired and not feeling well a lot of the time, and I started doing what Arnold uh, told me to. He gave me a lot of information, and I tried to tell my my kids who were little Which are right here. <laughs> and, and that, Ten uh, years later. Yes, and, and they didn't understand. They thought that I was depriving them of Doritos. And I, I told them about nice uh, Dorito chips or tortilla chips that Arnold had here. And now today they're here. Oh, wow. And um, with uh, with Kat, Chris's uh, friend. Why don't you go around with Chris? Why explain why you're here? What, what, what's your lifestyle like? Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're just at the Woodstock Food Festival, right? Just at the Woodstock. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Working in the kitchen. Um, I heard about this place uh, from her, and I I didn't really know like what she's talking about. <laughs> Veggie burgers, it was a really weird time. Um, then I went to Hawaii, and I was doing some wolfing on a farm, and I met Kat, and she came, and she was raw vegan, and I thought that was pretty hardcore. <laughs> so I tried it out, and now I eat pretty much all fruits and vegetables all the time. Have you noticed a big difference, better way? Yeah, big difference. I ran like nine miles the other day. I haven't ran in a year, and unless like in sports and stuff, but not just running. And I just nine miles, just like that in an hour. Like I have a lot of energy and it feels really good. Yeah, really good. <laughs> yeah, Kat, you're all. Cat actually wrote a. Actually came here, and she ordered some. I said, you know, she ordered a uh, a dish with no nuts. No seeds, no oil. <laughs> and no salt. And no salt. <laughs> I said, you know, you're going to have a hard time finding a place to eat. Yeah. Except for here. Yeah. <laughs> and That's when why I did, we came. <laughs> I made a special sauce. Yeah. It looks delicious. Okay. I haven't eaten it. Why don't you explain, what, explain a little bit about yourself. Um, uh, well, my name's Kat, Kat Green, and I transitioned from vegetarian, well, from standard American diet to vegetarian when I was five, and then slowly I got to vegan and then raw food vegan. And I felt good, but then I started not feeling so great when I was doing a lot of nuts and seeds and oils. So then I found 801010, um, and that's pretty much how I eat now. It's just lots of fruits and vegetables. I mean, what, is it, what does a lot mean? Lots. Um, <laughs> well, not a lot compared for myself, but I think compared to the most, right. to the standard diet, uh, like 10 bananas <laughs> or like 15 nectarines or. She's a lot of nectarines. I like nectarines, nectarines a lot. Yeah. Where do you get nectarines at? California. In California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You go to yeah. a store, you visit my say, I want yeah. nectarines. We used to like, well, Chris used to work at farmer's markets, and I would volunteer at farmer's markets, and that's a San great Diego. way to get Free bulk nectarines. produce. Right. Yeah, it's great, and it's local, and it's organic. And you wrote a book, too? And I wrote a raw recipe book. Right now it's available at lulu.com slash spotlight slash cat green. And wow. Later, it will be available through Megan Elizabeth's website. It will be available on our website. And it will be available on our website. Actually, yeah. I've, I've, I'm in contact with Fruit Power. 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 Fruit Power. Yeah, it be available there, too. Okay. <laughs> you can't miss it. You no, know, it's just real important that we spread the word. I'm real, right now, I see a lot of young people into raw food. Not that I'm old. <laughs> I'm, twi I'm more than twice about your age. Yeah. I think so. I know so. You know so. I think. Anyway, it's real important that younger people know know about it because disease is rampant out there, mm -hmm. big time. Like cancer, diabetes. You eat this way, almost impossible to get sick, almost impossible to feel have a bad day. I never have a bad day, ever have a bad day. In fact, you asked me, are you going on vacation? It's Costa yeah, yeah. Rica tomorrow. I said, I'm on vacation every, every day. day. <laughs> every moment I'm on vacation. In fact, I hate to leave my vacation to go to vacation. Oh, my vacation. <laughs> I do. Yeah, Becky, why don't you say something? I'm Pekka, and I just come here for the banana whips. Oh, good. Them. And I've been a vegetarian for six years now. Um, Did so you see I, raw in the future? <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I kind of, I've been like done vegan and stuff, so I'm just trying to find that balance. But. but that's a great testament that like people who eat more of a standard diet can still enjoy things like right. banana whips. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. As an ice cream substitute. Yep. Anyway, this is uh, Arnold. I, I actually say... Lansdale is the raw food capital of the world. That's my goal. <laughs> <laughs>
That is my goal. We have more golfers cast here than uh, anywhere that I know of. <laughs> but I don't have too many places. <laughs> anyway, bye. From now on, say hi. Bye. bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs>